Today, I touch my own nipple. I'm very impressed. Yeah, very big. Very long and hard. And I need a new oil cooler. What's good? It's the Hunter Hoffman back with insane content! In this non-sponsored video, we're gonna truly improve the car whilst keeping it looking OEM. They say, once you go black, you never go back. So let's see what happened. Hey. Actually, right next to me now. Yeah, very big. Very long and hard. Yes, black. I told you that. All right, I'm gonna talk to you later. All right, bye now, bye now. I'm sorry about that. My, my friends are just really, really curious about you. You know, I once had a smaller version of you next to me. I know it's a little early to ask, but do you want to come live with me? You do? Oh, perfect. So let's get you installed. I can definitely tell why they made you black this time. All right, so enough of the funny stuff. Let's get this bad boy installed. All right, so what do we have? We're going to install a new engine oil cooler made by my Swedish friends Do88 Performance. So along with the packaging, the looks and feel of this oil cooler are great. It feels of great quality and the welds look great too. The package comes with new hardware for installation and a QR code for the manual. I was a bit disappointed though that the package wasn't sent in business class. Cheapskates. Alright, so with the S55 engine, the oil cooler is installed laying flat and below the engine. Oh, and remember this broken part from the last video? I ordered and installed a new one as you can see here. So, time to get wrenching. First, we remove loads of 8mm bolts while having a very focused look. After removing all the panels, we are presented with the oil cooler. We're going to remove it by undoing these 13mm bolts. Look at how much dirt and debris has collected over the years here. That must have affected the cooling capacity of the oil cooler. Good that we're replacing it. So after removing the 10mm bolt holding down the oil line, we plug it with the supplied plugs to minimize oil leakage. And repeat the process on the other side. Just look at how terrible this thing looks. Completely clogged up. So here's a size comparison between the two. Both the surface and core volume are larger. 
The Do88 cooler has a bar and plate core, which improves cooling and is more durable. So next up, we're going to transfer over these grommets to the new one. After removing these, we're going to spray them with silicone spray so that they don't dry out. Then we reinsert these metal parts for the bolts. Because the new oil cooler will lay like this in the plastic under tray, we would need to cut away these rubber strips. Then a bit of fine tuning with the Stanley knife and we're good to go. So now we're going to replace the o-rings of the oil lines. We remove the old one, clean the fitting with brake cleaner and lube up the new one with silicon spray. Then repeat the process for the other oil line. Next up we're going to mount the new cooler by reinstalling the three 13mm bolts. Then, with the new hardware, we're reinstalling the oil lines. Make sure these are properly seated before tightening them down. There we have it, the oil cooler installed. So then it's a matter of buttoning everything up again. Then I fill up the engine with half a liter of oil, and off camera I went ahead and primed the engine. Check the link in the top right hand corner to see how that works. Alright so that was it! I want to massively thank Do88 Performance for sponsoring the video. I'll put all their information in the description below so go check them out. Guys, truly improving the car whilst keeping it looking OEM, it's the best. We're gonna keep on doing that to this N3. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time! Alright, so enough of the funny stuff. Let's get this bad boy installed. Hey! Right next to me, actually, now. Hey. Alright, so enough of the funny stuff. Let's get this bad boy installed.
Maar ik kan ik nou niet zo goed acteren. Alright, nou nog één keer dan. <laughs>